Welcome back for another video in our Behringer Wing tutorial series. I'm DJ and in this video we're going to be talking about the custom user layers and custom controls. So let's get started. So first let's look at the custom user layers that we can make. Now we have two user layers in each of the fader sections. And to get to the controls for those user layers, just select whatever user layer you want to customize and then hit the view button. On the home screen, we're going to have View, Assign, and Mute Group. We're actually going to stay on the Assign page right now. So the example I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, four vocal mics and a vocal verb and a vocal delay, as well as the vocal DCA. And we're going to put those all on this center section right here. So right here in the Assign page, you see all 40 of our regular channels, as well as our eight aux ends. Then you can tab over, you can see the buses and the DCAs as well. But let's go ahead and grab RF 1 through 4 and pull those into our channels 1 through 4 for this user layer. Let's go ahead and pull our vocal verb and vocal delay in. Now these are in the auxes because that's where we pulled the bus back into as the effects return. Then we'll tap over to our DCA page, grab our vocal DCA, and drop it on this last fader. So now we have RF 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then our vocal verb, our vocal delay, and our DCA for the vocals. Now, if I just want to always have my vocals up right here, at the same time as I have the rest of my band, I can just swap between these two layers for my band and then have the vocals up all the time. Now let's go ahead and move on to the custom controls. So the custom control section is right over here, just above the jog wheel. And to get to the settings, you can hit the view button in the top. Now, what I have set up already is some controls for my vocal verb and vocal delay. So in, on the encoders, on the first one, I have my size, so the room size. The second encoder, I have my decay. These are both for the verb. On the first button, I have my sends on fader flip. So now if I want to just adjust whatever I'm sending to that bus, I can just tap this and it'll automatically select that bus and turn on sends on fader. So then all I have to do is just mix whatever I want to it. The next button down is actually the mute for the aux return. So if I tap this, you'll see the aux get muted. Just below the second encoder, I don't have anything in the first button, but on the second one I do. This one, if I tap it, it'll automatically pull up my vocal verb effect in the touchscreen. Going over to encoder three, that's my pre-delay for the actual delay. And then encoder four is the amount of repeats that that delay does. The first button under the pre-delay is the same as the first encoder. That's gonna be the sends on fader for the delay bus. And then just below that is the same as the other button where it's the mute for that aux input that the effect is routed back into. The first button under the fourth encoder is actually my tap tempo. So I can just tap it and it'll set the tempo for me. And the button below that is the same as the bottom button for encoder two. This will pull up the actual delay effect on the touchscreen for me. So let's go ahead and move on to another layer and we can see how we set this up. So if it's not already selected, go ahead and hit the view button. And then for the first encoder, over here on the left side of the touchscreen, just tap on that encoder icon. In our functions column, go ahead and select effects parameter, select our effects processor that we're using, which is the first one, so room reverb. And then in the parameters, we can select size. Now we have the size control for our effect. Same thing for the second encoder. Just tap on that second encoder on the left of the touch screen, hit effects parameter, the effect that we're adjusting, and then we can select decay. Now we have our decay. Now let's go to the first button below the first encoder. This one's gonna be our sins on fader flip. So it's gonna be the red one right here scroll down in the channels all the way to our bus that we're using, so bus 13. Now that is our send zone fader button. The button just below that, we're going to make our mute for the aux return. So go ahead and go to the top of the functions, hit mute, scroll down, then we're going to hit A7, which is in the aux ends, and it's our vocal verb return. Now that'll mute the vocal verb. For the bottom button under the second encoder, Let's go ahead and set that up as our uh, effect page. So scroll down in the functions till you see channel page. Go all the way down, scroll down till the channel, and then find our bus, so our vox verb. 
and then scroll down in the page until you see insert two. Now, once we hit this, it'll pop up our second insert on that bus, which is our uh, reverb effect. So it's the same process for the other two encoders and four buttons. So let's go ahead and run through those really quick. So tap on the third encoder, hit effects parameter, ultra tap delay, that's the effect that I'm using. Then I'm gonna hit pre-delay. Now we have our pre-delay control. Now for the fourth encoder, go ahead and hit ultra tap delay, then we'll hit repeats. Now we have the amount of repeats our delay is doing. Let's go ahead and set up that tap tempo. So scroll down, effects parameter, ultra tap delay, then we'll go ahead and select time. Now that one is our time. Set up the button below that. That's gonna be our effect page, so channel page, all the way down to bus 14, which is our vocal delay bus, and then down to insert two. Now that pops up our effect. And the last two buttons, this is gonna be sends on fader. Scroll down to the bus again, now it sends on fader. And one more button, that's gonna be the mute for the effects return on aux eight. So mute and scroll down, aux eight, there we go. Just below the custom controls, we actually have eight more buttons in the same dark gray area down towards the bottom. Now these, we don't have layers that we can cycle through. It's only these eight buttons. And you would typically use these with mute groups. But if you tap over, you can actually see we already have a mute group page. So these buttons can be used for like DCA mutes, or if you wanna use them to uh, go to a specific channel page or something like that. But the setup for those are the same as the eight buttons up here. You just tap on the button, scroll through whatever function you wanna do. So um, let's say I wanna DCA mute DCA1. There we go. That'll now mute DCA1. And you can set up all eight of these buttons however you'd like with all the functions that we have available. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. If you haven't seen some of the others and you'd like to catch up, I'll have the playlist linked down below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.